It's going to show you said initializing, so I'm waiting. All right, everybody, man, uh, like I promised you guys, we got my boy Kareem Kelly here. Everybody give him a shout out, you know what I'm saying? You know, get, get, thank you for coming, you know what I'm saying? What up, my boy? What's going on, man? What's good? Chilling, chilling, man. Hey, hey, what, what, what's your take on this weekend's uh, big matchup with uh, the Colorado Buffs and, 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 and your uh, – your Trojans. I just hope it's not a trap game for us because uh, Colorado took a beating. So they, they definitely going to come back with some type of vengeance. And, you know, it's it's any given Saturday. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to ride with my Trojans. Overall, I think they have a better team. They have more playmakers. Uh, the quarterback play is – though – Shador is in the Heisman conversation. Me personally, I don't think he's up there with Caleb, Caleb Williams just yet. Caleb a bad just man. Yet. I ain't gonna lie. He he nice. Yeah, man. They, you know they say he the, he the Patrick Mahomes of uh, college football. So that's he got that he got that sidearm action. He 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 his 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 his, his wheelhouse is infinite, man. He yeah, got a his cold box. His his, his ad living on the field is. Is impeccable. So, you know, he they're gonna make plays. It's gonna be a great game, man. I can't I can't wait to see it. I can't wait you to know, see it. The excitement that college football is coming back to. I know you experienced that as a player. Do you feel that, that like like I, what I'm thinking, like it's getting back to the to, to to you know when college football was must see TV. Right. They they're they're making it now to where there's disparity in college football. Now you can't look at college football and say Alabama's for surely going to win it this year or the SEC's for surely going to win it this year. They're making college football now become more of an even playing field, and that's why you see a lot of these different conferences going to other conferences to even out the playing field. So, yeah, college football is – uh. It's back on the horizon, man, as far as uh, competition, the level of competition. You know, a lot of schools that wasn't ranked before are coming out of the woodworks and making a name for themselves. The Utah hey, so world. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Because this, this, every athlete has an ego. And I know you got a big ego. I know you, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to hear your honest opinion on this question right here. Could you play in today's game? And how how dominant would you be? Oh man, I I was talking to some of my guys about that uh, not too long ago. I I could definitely play in today's game, man. I mean, the rules has changed. It's 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 tailored for you know the offense. It's tailored for you know the receivers, quarterback. Because you know people people in the stands want to see high scoring games, man. And 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 colleges institutions know this. The professional levels knows this. They wanna they wanna see a lot of points scored. So they had to take a lot of the the hard hitting, the helmet to helmet out of the game. Yeah, the game was more physical when you played. Yeah. It was a lot more physical. So they had to take a lot of that out of the game. Not only because of health and safety, but because, you know, they want to see high scoring games these days. They want they wanna they wanna make it to where, you know. The games are like seven on seven practice. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so like the new equipment and the technology, what helmet would you rock in today's if you played in today's game? Because I'll be looking at the helmets and I'll be seeing stuff that I like and stuff I don't like. I don't I don't like that new rod L they got with the with, with the windshield. I call it the windshield with the visor already built into it. I don't like that one. Nah, I don't you even know, know the windshield. names of these new helmets, man. I'm old school, bro. It was Rydell and Bike. You know? Yeah. I don't even know in air. It was air, bike, air. and uh and Rydell. I don't even know about these new helmets now. They got the speed flex, the Rydell speed flex. Yeah. They got the shut they, they rock they rocking the shut Z tens. Yeah. And then this this new Rydell, I don't even know the name of it. Uh Patrick Mahomes have a real ugly helmet. They got that out there too. I don't, some of these helmets are ugly, but they're supposed to be more safer. So I guess, you know, I I like the old school helmets, bro. Like what you that that, that Eric Dickinson used to rock. I like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, the the health and safety protocols is is different these days. So I guess these new helmets are state of the art. They're preventing a lot a lot of the concussions. So hey, I, I, I right. applaud the safety. What what all right, so like think about this. Back in the day when we was playing and stuff, man, uh ACLs wasn't as prevalent as they are now. Why do you think that is? That's over overwork, overworking athletes overworking their bodies? Cause it's like okay. they, the ACL is like this. Yeah, no, that's a that's a great question, man. That's a great point, actually. Uh, I would probably say that, man. I I would say it's it's the athlete is overworking themselves. And another thing, a lot of dudes aren't playing in preseason anymore, man. I think uh, I think that has a lot to do with it too. Guys should start playing in more preseason games to get their bodies conditioned for the, for the regular season. Cause it's a long season. And then you, it's like you're going from zero to 60 in a matter of weeks. So. Man. So looking back at your career, what would you have done differently if you had a chance to do it all over again? Uh, would it took, would it took football more serious? And not had a social life. Hmm. And see, for you, for you young athletes out there that's watching this, man, put them up on game K two, man. Get, give them, give them the game, man. Because this, this so we didn't, we didn't, have, you didn't have social media. Nah. You nah. didn't do things with likes. Right. That's true, man. I mean, you know, all that's gonna be there, man. You know, the partying, the women. You know, the materialistic things. The main thing is to to focus and you know work on your craft. You know, so that you can be the best athlete that you can be. Because it's it's a constant competition. It, it's constantly you know competitive out here. So my thing would be to just eat, sleep, and drink football or whatever your respective sport is. You know, lead yeah. a social life. Lead a social life. You know, to the side and until you until you make it. And see, chopping up with you over the years, I took a lot of a plethora of that knowledge you, you gave me about sports, and I, I transferred that to my son. He's you know he's undersized, so he's a Division two player now, but he's 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 immensely small. But I told him that 